Hello everyone. Um, I shared this video about Assassin's Creed Valhalla uh, using FSR and uh, uh, many people ask for a guide how to use Magpie because Magpie is kind of a problematic on its own right now because it's just version 0.52. Um, it's kind of a new program and the author is trying to make it better constantly. So um, let me show you how I use it for uh, better performance. First of all, uh, you need a couple of things. One of them is uh, Reshade. We have to install this to your game. And we need Process Lasso. And we need um, Riva Tuner Statistics Server. First of all, we have to download Magpie. By the way, I'll be sharing the links in the description. This is the main page for Magpie. You can um, install it by clicking releases and the latest version and clicking the zip. You don't have to install anything, it's just a zip file. You have to unzip it and you can just double click and run it from there. And then you can install Reshade uh, from reshade.me. And this free program is also very useful. I'm using it, uh, this in all my games, Process Lasso. So it helps me to. Um, stop other processes while I'm playing a game so all of my CPU is going to my game it's very useful for gaming we, especially if you are hating the interruptions of Windows 10 and also you can install Riva Tuner um, from Grow3D I already installed them I'm not going to show how to install them because they're all fairly straightforward and you can find very good guides on internet um, you have to add both the magpie and your games exes to uh, Riva tuner F first of all the magpie I edited it and I entered the frame rate limit because this is um, how I want to play my game uh, for this game I want 60 FPS smooth so I entered uh, very close to 60 number and by the way this is a 4k screen I made it very big so that you can read it easily. And now I come to AMD Radeon software. I do the same thing. Uh, come here to Magpie. And then um, if I don't have Magpie, you can simply edit here from add a game section. And come here and enable image sharpening. Let's start with 80. I guess I don't want all the way down. Oh, or or just for demonstration purposes, let's start with 100%. That's all. You don't have to do anything to your game. And also, uh, it's always better to cap your game too. Just come um, add your games, EXE, and also a captive frame rate, frame rate limit there. And that's all. Now, open your Magpie here and start it. Just let it stay here for a while. Now I have to come to process lesser. Where are the processes? And these are. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's too big, so it can't show anything. I, I, I don't know how to shrink this. Seriously? I'm just sorry. Wait a minute. Nope, not this one. And this one, I guess. Okay, so <laughs> I I have to find Magpie. Right click on it. CPU priority always above normal. Th th this tells your computer the Magpie window is the priority. Always draw that window and then do anything else. And also exclude it from pro balance because I don't want any power saving feature operating on it I, I want full performance I also can do this um, in, induce performance mode this program is really a good one I I should do the same thing for my game but not right now I don't have to do it right now and let's get this back now magpie is open here it can wait now I have to start my game in a full screen. The 
game's ready I have to hit home and I can skip tutorial here and also apply some settings for my reshade you don't have to do this I, I always do that it's just personal preferences here and okay let's get to the game skip 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 start settings come to video it's full screen and 4k that's what I want now when I play my game you can see the FPS on the right top corner by the way okay I'm in the game now the game is playing at max settings at 4k but as you can see on the top right corner the FPS is 32, 31, 30 and it's going somewhere around it I want to play this game at 60 FPS but I don't want to lower my settings um, I, I want to keep everything at max so what I should do is ideally to lower the resolution first I have to find the resolution that the game is comfortable let's try one step smaller how about it it's it's an improvement but definitely not the one I want because we, we are in a closed environment right now and even here it can't um, go to 60 FPS it's just slightly shy of 40 I want to go even lower let's go this 1440p okay let's try this one it's it's much better much better okay it's sometimes hidden 60 but not all the time 52 53 can I make it even better I want to make it even better let's ensure that it's always stays at 60 I'll go to 1080p that's full HD Yep, it's 60. Perfect. It's always 60. It seems like it at least. I mean, I wouldn't want to go any lower because that's... Uh, I mean, 1080p is already too low for a 4K screen and 1080p is... I, I guess should be the um, bottom limit for playing modern games. Okay, it seems like it can keep it at 60 all the times. Okay, good. What, what what does this one do? Can I can I go up? Okay, no, I can't. Oh, okay, I can. Maybe it'll give us some outdoor area. Yep, that's it. That's outdoor, and it is 60 here. I don't know if you, if you guys can tell it in in the video, but right now um, it's very blurry in in my screen. So, but, but, wait, 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 I'm on a video right now. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, it's very blurry right now, so I want to make it um, use F F FSR. So I come here to settings, to video, and turn this full screen into window mode. That's it. That's window. Um, that's a full HD 1080p window and on on my 4k screen now what I want to do is come here open magpie you don't have to run it as admin by the way I just did out of reflex and I also do this appearance and that's it I want to put it just for best performance apply that's it um, we can always pin it to taskbar like this and okay see it stays here now what I want to do is pick FSR here win RT capture that that is the fastest and lightest one and I want to put to um, second one that means uh, the capture capturing the cursor because there is a cursor in this game in the menus I, I can 
show the FPS or unshow it doesn't matter now I activate the counter minimize it click on my game and wait that's it it's ready the game is internally 1080p still but Magpie makes it 4k however you will notice some problems along the way for example let me find somewhere straight or I don't know I don't even know if it's gonna show in YouTube video but um, in the corners of these leaves there are slight jaggies because the internal resolution is uh, 1080p and it needs to be applied an anti-aliasing solution because AMD recommends to be uh, image to be anti-aliased first this is where reshade comes into play now I can use either SMAA or FXAA. SMAA sometimes flickers even though it's a superior choice. I, I want to go with FXAA because the game already has its own TAA implementation so uh, a slight touch of FXAA will be enough. By the way, many people don't know this but in here in the preprocessor definitions the quality preset should be uh, shouldn't be the first generation fifth quality no it should be third generation ninth quality which is the newest form of FXA and make it zero that means everything will be processed and we can make it blurry or not blurry I, I, I want to keep it at maybe 500 point point 500 that's good turn it off turn it on turn it off turn it on yep it clears the edges very well and also you can add very slight sharpening here to I don't know maybe equal to F uh, FXIA to compensate for the blurriness it introduces here <laughs> come on all right now switch the performance mode put them on top now the correct or there should be first anti-aliasing then sharpening now one more thing settings load only enabled effects this makes only two of them are enabled that means they they, uh, they don't take any memory on your VRAM if if you don't enable this let me show you uh, all of the effects will be loaded in your VRAM and um, it'll be like 116 160 megabytes of VRAM. I, I know it's not a lot, but it you don't have to pay that much VRAM for something that you don't use. So you can simply click on load on the enabled effects in the settings menu. Only two of them are enabled, and in the statistics, it shows that it doesn't use any VRAM. That's it. See, that is ready, and it's very smooth by the way. It's locked to 60 just like I wanted it and this is how I use Magpie by the way if I use alt tap it'll switch back to window mode but you can always um, invoke Magpie here uh, I, I want to come to process lasso active processes find my game that's it uh, I want to exclude it from pro balance because I don't want um, process lasso to put my game onto slow mode I, I wanted to put in into performance mode so this game has also its priority just like Mac by itself anything any other thing any and like br browsers or any other Explorer windows any other thing um, comes after in the priority lead list because a uh, process lasso ensures that your game and uh, what you select is uh, priorly processed by your CPU and your GPU so all of the system resources are uh, put onto my game and Magpie this is how I can use um, fluid upscaling with Magpie let me do that again Magpie activate the counter minimize it come back to game that's it same by the way, I, I put the sharpness at very high levels just because of demonstration purposes, but um, I recommend using a very gentle sharpening because FSR itself has its own sharpening. 
so r right now uh, i don't know if you can see it in in youtube but right now it's too much sharpened i can even turn off the reshade sharpening here where is my mouse yep it's way better that's it happy upscale gaming